Hallelujah. We thank God for how he has helped us since the beginning of this fasting. Today is the 38th day of the 50 days. Thank God that we are not just counting the days. The days are counting. We give glory to God. So let us pray. Our Lord and our Father, we thank you for giving us opportunity to come together to pray, to wait upon you. Because your word said, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Lord, we thank you for day one, day two, up to the 38th day. Lord, we thank you for the strength that you've made available unto us. Thank you for granting us grace, particularly to wait today. We ask, O God, as we pray, that your spirit will help us to pray in the name of Jesus. Ask, O God, that your grace will envelop us wherever we are in the name of Jesus. Let our prayer be acceptable unto you today. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you to just welcome and bring in your family members to come over to pray. Today, the focus is going to be on fulfilling divine purpose. Divine purpose. It is quite very important. I would like us to open our Bibles to the book of Jeremiah, uh, chapter 1, verse 4 to 5. Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 4 to 5. And it says, Then the word of the Lord came unto me saying, before I formed thee, in the belly, in the belly I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, I ordained thee, a prophet unto the nation. That tells us that for every life, there is a purpose. Purpose is intention for something. So when you now talk about divine purpose, you're talking about God's intention. What is in the mind of God when he created us, when he created you and I? We're not just a biological accident, not the product of just somebody and the other person meeting. So every life that comes to life without fulfilling purpose is a disaster. So, and that is why today we want to pray about fulfilling our divine purpose, the intention of God. So, when you say the word fulfill, it means to accomplish. It means to implement. It means to execute. It means to perfect. It means to bring to pass. It means to complete. It means to undertake. So, our prayer focus today is that we will finish well in the name of Jesus. We will not just discover our purpose. We will not just develop those purpose. We will not just deploy such talent or gifting God has given us, but we will accomplish. And that is our prayer, and that is the focus. And another thing that Paul said in the book of Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 2, Verse 10. Ephesians 2, verse 10. Paul was talking to the church in Ephesus. And he said, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. That means from the foundation of the earth. God has created us to be his workman, to be his showpiece. When you meet someone that is a furniture maker and he tells you he has a showroom, he puts in that showroom a sample of what he can do. So when God sees us, God sees us as his own showpiece. And that is why he calls us his workman. So that tells us that a life that doesn't have purpose or a life that doesn't discover 
that has not lived up to that purpose is a life that is wasted. And that is why we want to pray today. Like the man of God said, my smuro, he said, when the purpose of a thing is unknown, abuse is inevitable. So today, I want us to just thank God first for the salvation of our soul. Because that is the beginning. I want you to lift your voice and begin to say, Father, I thank you for saving my life. Thank you. Because I'm not just a, I'm not a biological accident. Thank you for causing me to know you. I want you to thank God for the salvation of your soul. Thank God for the salvation of your soul. Say, Father, I thank you for the salvation of my soul and that of my family. Father, I give you praise. Thank you, Lord, for saving me from, from a life of dis destruction. Thank you for enveloping my life with your grace. Your word said that it is by grace that we are saved. It is not by works, lest no man boast. So, Father, we want to say thank you. Thank you. He says, seeing that not many noble men were called. Thank you for calling us. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for saving our soul. Thank you for enveloping us with your grace and your mercy. So, I want us to now begin to pray and thank God for the mercy of God. Father, we say thank you for your mercy. Father, thank you for the mercy of God that discovered us. Thank you for that mercy. The mercy of God is what does not give God, give you know, you what you deserved. If we have seen and are seen, Bible said in the book of Romans that we have seen and we have come short of the glory of God. So we don't we are not supposed to have access to God, but by the reason of his mercy. So I want us to thank God for this mercy. I want us to thank God for this mercy. The Lord, we thank you for your mercy. Thank you for making us a product of mercy. Lord, we want to give you praise. For if not for your mercy, we could have been consumed. We see destruction day by day. So many things are happening. You know, people are dying. People are perishing day by day. But you have preserved us by your mercy. Lord, we want to say thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for upholding us with your right hand of righteousness. It is by your mercy alone. I want you to acknowledge this and give thanks to God and acknowledge his mercy. When you have mercy on someone, it means you have compassion on that person. That it means you have pity on that person. It means you are willing to help that individual. Thank you for not leaving us unto ourselves. Thank you for not causing us to live a life that is independent of you. Lord, we want to say thank you. We want to say thank you. We give you praise. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 103, it said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefit. One of the benefits of, of, of the Lord, even in our lives, is forgiveness of our sins. I want us to thank God for forgiving us our sins. Lord, we want to say thank you for forgiving us our sins. The Bible to told us that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus. Lord, we want to say thank you. We are grateful to you. We acknowledge your goodness. We acknowledge your mercy. We thank you for causing us even to have that mercy that you have made available unto us through your son. Thank you for forgiving us of all our sins. Lord, we want to say we are grateful. We are grateful. Thank you for forgiving us of sin of disobedience. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving us of sin of disobedience. Some that we willingly or uh, we, we walk away even from the, the, the way of truth. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for even forgiving us when we come unto you, when we call unto you, that you hear us, you are unto us. Lord, we are grateful to you. Lord, we are grateful to you. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now we are going to pray. Because one of the recent things that causes people not to fulfill their destiny in God is disobedience. Disobedience. When there is disobedience, when people are not obeying, when we are not obeying the word of God, it brings 
no us. It doesn't make us to fulfill that plan of God for our lives. So today we are going to ask God. I say, Father, forgive me of any sin of disobedience. Sin of disobedience. Willingly walking away from the path of righteousness. Lord, we ask, O oh God, for forgiveness of my sin in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me my sin. You know, a, a, a clear example is the story of Reuben. Reuben, that is in the book of Genesis. Genesis, Genesis 49. You know, told us about the story of Reuben. Reuben happened to be the first son of Jacob. But Reuben, supposed to have birthright, double portion, being the firstborn and being a son. But Reuben walked in disobedience. I would like us to open to this story and read this storyline of the story of Reuben in the book of G Genesis. Genesis 49. Genesis 49. Hallelujah. 49 verse 3. Say, Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity, the excellency of power, unstable as water, thou shalt not excel, because thou wented up to, the father, to thy father's bed, then defileth thou it. He went up to my couch. That is the father, Jacob. Jacob said, look, you thought I didn't know. He waited for him. The guy misbehaved. He waited till the end when it was not going to be revocable. But thank God for the mercy of God. Thank God that this sin, this cause was revoked in the book of Numbers. But I want us to pray today that is there any way that we have been disobedient. Our own may not be the case of Reuben, but we may have done one thing or the other as, as sin, and we have been disobedient. Definitely, any disobedient child may not be able to fulfill the destiny God has in plan. I want us to pray today and ask that Father, have mercy. Have mercy upon me for disobeying you in any way, in one form or the other. Baba, ask, ask, oh God, for your mercy. Lord, have mercy. Every sin of disobedience. Bible says sin of disobedience is like a sin of witchcraft. And Bible told us that obedience is, is better to obey than to sacrifice. And why is that so? Because the highest form of sacrifice is obedience. So I want us to pray that, Father, give me that spirit of obedience, that I will be obedient to instruction from God, obedient to the word of God, obedient even to the instruction passed by my leaders, by my pastors, by my parents. A lot of things are happening today. Things are going awire. This, the Bible told us that in the latter days, perilous times are come. Time difficult to deal with. That children are going to be disobedient unto parents. We are going to pray today that Father, is there any way that we are walk in disobedience? That our children are walk in disobedience? Lord, have mercy today. Pray and Ask God, tell God that Father should have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask, oh God, that your mercy, your mercy will envelop us. Oh God, arise for me this day. Arise and destroy every evil force assigned to waste and destroy my destiny and the destiny of every member of my family. I want you to pray that say, Is there any way, anything that the enemy is using? even to cause me to walk away from the way of obedience, that wants to distract me, that wants to make be like a barrier for me to rise up and fulfill my destiny. Today, I ask for the mercy of the Lord. I want you to pray that the Lord will cause you to, will help you not to walk in that way in the name of Jesus. What are those barriers to fulfilling destiny? You know, some people, is disobedience, distraction, we can see that today. People are distracted. So many people, things are begging for our attention. So many things are wants to take, lure us away from the way of the Lord. 
Romans 8, 31 said, what can t separate us from the, the, the way of the Lord, from the way of the master? He said, is it peril, per, peril? Is it danger? Things that are difficult, difficult things. No, I want us to pray and say, Father, help me. Arise and help me. Arise and help me. Is there any discouragement that wants to take you away from fulfilling your destiny? Is there any family issue? Sickness. Some people, maybe the, one of the children is sick. Terminal disease in the house. It, it may be a distraction from, from fulfilling destiny. Pray that the Lord will help you. Some is laziness, idleness, not slothful attitude. It's, it's a barrier to fulfilling destiny. I want you to pray and ask God and say, Father, help me today. Arise and help me and destroy anything that is out to destroy my destiny in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now we are going to pray and ask that say, Father, devour the devourers of my destiny and the destiny of your church in the name of Jesus. Pray that the Lord will devour the devourer. That I want to destroy the destiny of the church. I want to destroy the destiny of the people of God. Pray right now and begin to ask that the Lord himself will intervene. That the Lord himself will intervene in the name of Jesus. Let's open our Bibles to the book of Gen uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 16. Jeremiah 30 16. He said, therefore, all they that devour, this shall be devoured. And all the adversity, every one of them shall go into captivity. I want you to pray now. Say, Father, every adversity of the church, let them go into captivity. Father, in the name of Jesus, let every devourer of the church of my family, let them go into captivity. In the name of Jesus, let them be spoiled. He said, let them that spoil thee shall be spoiled. Let them that spoil thee shall be spoiled. And they that pray upon thee, will they become prey themselves. In the name of Jesus, that they will be consumed in their own device. In the name of Jesus, anyone that antagonizes the church, anyone that is working against the church, fulfilling his destiny in, in, in this country, the Lord will cause them to be devoured, even by their own machination. In the name of Jesus, Maligebo Shika Baba Baba, Reke Supra Daka Sutalia, Lebo Shika Baba Baba. Verse 17 says, He said, I will restore earth unto you. I say, I want you to pray and say, Father, restore earth to me. Restore earth to me. There is no way if someone is sick, if someone is not healthy, if someone is not strong, there is no way that person can be able to fulfill destiny. I want you to pray right now that is there anything, is there anyone sick in, 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 in your family? Is there anyone sick? Is there any sickness in your body? The word of God is declaring today. He said, I will restore. The Lord said he will restore. He said, Father, restore unto me. Father, restore unto me. He said, I will heal thee. I will heal thee of all your wounds. It may not be sickness. It was people are hurting. A lot of depression is going on today. You hear people talking about depression here and there. People are going through stops, emotional upheaval. I want you to pray today. I say, Father, Lord, heal my wound in the name of Jesus. Heal my wound. Some people are sick, even in their soul. In Narika Saprakata, let your healing spring forth. One of the benefits of fasting, as he said in the book of Isaiah 58, he said, I will restore earth unto you. He said, Your earth will spring up speedily. Lord, restores earth, restores 
an earth unto me. In the name of Jesus, give me strength so that I'll be able to fulfill the destiny that you have given unto me. In the name of Jesus, what you have called me to do from the foundation of the earth, even before my, I was given back to, we will rise from my mother's womb. Lord, I receive strength today. In the name of Jesus, I receive strength today. In the name of Jesus, there was a story of a man of God. He said, that man was dying at his, uh, as his sick bed at the young age of 30-something. You know, this man was giving. God showed him a vision that he's going to take the word of God into the nations of the world. But this guy overflogged his body. He was, he was not resting at the right time. He overburdened himself, and he was dying on his sick bed. And he said, he said, oh, God. You gave me a message, and you gave me a horse. He said, I flogged the horse, so I could not deliver the message. Because I need the, the, the horse to be able to deliver the message. I want you to pray. I say, Father, grant me wisdom that I'll be able to manage even the horse that you have given unto me. In the name of Jesus, that I'll be able to manage the horse that you have given unto me so that that horse will not be flogged to the point that I will not be able to deliver the message, that, that, to the point that I will not be able to fulfill the destiny. In the name of Jesus, Bible says in the book of Proverbs 21, 31, he said, horses are prepared for the day of battle. He said, victory belongs to God. That tells us that horses, needs to be prepared. Horses needs to be taken care of. It's not every horse that can win battle. So there are some horses that may not have all it takes. Does that not tell us that there are two factors in the winning of battles? There is a place of the preparation of the horse and there is a place of the victory that comes from God. That is that God factor. This is the same thing that Paul was saying in the, even in the New Testament that he says Paul planted, Apollo water is God that gives increase. Father, we pray today that Lord, everything that I need to do to be able to, to, to that we enhance me in fulfilling my destiny, in fulfilling the destiny of the church. Lord, help me, oh God. Lord, help me in the name of Jesus. Lord, help me. I want you to pray that the Holy Spirit himself will help you. Bible says in the book of Romans, Romans 8, 26, he said the Holy Spirit helped our infirmities, for we know not, there are a lot of things you don't know. He said we know not how to pray as we ought to. The Spirit of God helped us with such a groaning that could not be uttered. The Spirit of God enables. The Spirit of God helps. The Spirit of God helps us. He said, is there anyone sick amongst you? He said, let them call upon the elders of the church. Let them pray at night in with oil. He said, the Prayer of faith shall heal the sea. He said, if they are sinned, the sin shall be forgiven. We pray today. Is there anyone, any member of our family that is sick? Any member of Redeemed Christian Church of God that is sick? We ask for the healing power of the Lord today. In the name of Jesus, I stand here today as an elder. And I declare in the name of Jesus that the that healing, let the healing power of God flow in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, you can lay your hands up on that person. Is any member of your family is sick and they've caught that sickness, terminal disease, that that person is not going to come out of, 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 of that sickness. By the reason of what is happening today, let the healing power of God flow. They shall fulfill their destiny. Every member of your family will fulfill their destiny. Let you as you lay your hands upon, let the power of God be released. In Galatos, the Badisi Cabra, Legedo Zebra Cataya, Rakazata Laga Bratata, Legato Shabragaga, Ekata Ragapa Papa, Esobre Cataya Paga Braga, Endaga. He said, Is there anyone afflicted? Let him pray. Is there anyone sick amongst you? Let them call upon the elders of the church. Let them pray anointing with oil. The prayer of faith. We pray the prayer of faith this uh, today. We pray the prayer of faith this evening and we ask let the healing power of God flow in the name of Jesus. One of the things that I stand as barrier in this day that stop people from 
from fulfilling their destiny. You see young men, they say, die, gone too soon. We reject that in the name of Jesus. He said, is there no bam in Gilead? Is there no physician among them? Lord, we release healing power of God. That is one of the benefits of fasting. Your earth will spring up speedily. Let the earth spring forth speedily. Let the healing spring forth speedily. Rasupa katayagaba. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I want you to pray and say, Father, empower me to overcome every temptation that we hinder me like Reuben. I want you to pray right now. What is that temptation? Bible say, let him that, that is tempted. Let him not say he's, he's, he's tempted of God. That every man is tempted when he's drawn away by his own laws and enticed. I want you to pray that Lord deliver me from temptation. The temptation that may lure me away from even from, from the, uh, fulfilling the path of righteousness. In the name of Jesus. Like I was telling our youth in our church uh, on Sunday. And I was telling them, I said, look, the enemy will come with that deception. He comes around to tell you that don't worry, everybody is doing it. He said, ah, just join them. And the moment you join them and you fall, you, you fall flat, the enemy himself will come over and say, oh, you have done it. You, can, you are no longer qualified. That every of such temptation, Lord, strengthen us, strengthen Strengthen us, strengthen us. Bible says that you may be strengthened by your spirit in thy inner man. In the name of Jesus. Those are the prayer Paul was praying, even for the for the Ephesians church, for the Philippians church. It is called the Pauline prayer. He said that you will be filled with the spirit of the Lord, that your eyes of understanding will be enlightened. The Lord enlighten the eyes of understanding of your people. Let to Baba, Baba, empower me, oh God, empower me, oh God. Empower me, oh God. We need power. We need power. Every failure in life is traceable to lack of power or lack of wisdom. I want you to pray that Lord, Lord, empower me. He said, you shall receive power. Acts 1, 8, when the Holy Ghost come upon you, and you shall be my witness. Lord, will receive grace to be a witness. We will receive that power. We will receive that power. You will receive that power. There are so many dimensions of the power of God. There are so many dimensions. We need that power to fulfill our destiny. That one of it is the power within. You say, Bible say in the book of Ephesians, I say, according to the power that is at work within us. That is a power that is at work within. And that is what we call the, the power above. He said, and that is what we call the power over. He said, He has given him power over principalities and power. In the name of Jesus. He said, in the name mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. That is that power. No, Peter was saying something in the book of John. He said, uh, uh, Acts 3, Acts 3, you know, and from verse 1, was talking about Peter going into the temple in the hours of prayer, and he got that man at the gate beautiful. And when he got there, he said the man was looking up to him. He wanted to get something, wanted to get money. And Bible said, he then said Peter and John fasting his eyes on, 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 on the, this man, and he looked at him. He said, look on us. He said, silver and gold we have none, such that we have. That is such that you have. That such that you have is what you need to fulfill your destiny. And it is the power of the Lord. And he said, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Lord, I want you to pray that, Father, empower me today. Empower me today. That is that power upon. That is that power within. And that is a power to, 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 to become. That is a power to become. Bible said in the book of John 1, he said, as many that receive him, he has given power to become. Lord, we receive that power to become. To become whom you have called us. Just you, whom you have called us. The power to become is that power to fulfill destiny. And that is a power to become a great man. That is a power to become an excellent choir member. That is a power to, to we have, we need to become a, a, an excellent minister. That is a power we need to become an excellent husband. That is a power we need to become an excellent wife. That is a power we need 
The Lord will receive that power as many that receive him. That receive Jesus. He has given power to become. Pray the Father, give me that power. The power to become. In the name of Jesus. The power to become. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want you to pray right now. Say, Father, please restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Restore unto me in the joy of my salvation. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 12, he said, with joy will, will you fetch water from the well of salvation. He said, so I want you to pray the Lord that restore unto me the, 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 he said, the, the, the joy. That is a joy of salvation. If that joy is lost, no, no wonder the scripture says, he said, the joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And he said, if you, if you faint in the days of your adversity, your strength is small. I want you to ask right now. And no wonder the Bible says in the book of Third Thessalonians, Five. He said, rejoice always. And I say again, rejoice. What does rejoice mean? Rejoice means release joy. I want you to pray the Lord every day of my life. I will be re releasing joy. The joy that will joy, that will, I will do the work of God with joy. I will fulfill my destiny with joy. I will even be, even in the marketplace, and be that your representative in the name of Jesus. I will be that light that you have called me to be in the name of Jesus. Mara. Lord, restore unto me, restore unto me that joy. Restore unto me that joy. Restore unto me that joy. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now you are going to pray that by the power of the resurrection of Jesus, I command every buried destiny in my family to rise in Jesus' name. See, every buried destiny. Let them rise. Every buried destiny. The Bible says in the book of John 11, when he was talking about Lazarus, and then the, the, the sisters, they came to Jesus. They said, oh, Lazarus, your friend is dead. He's gone. And Jesus I waited till after four, after four days before coming over. And when he got there, he said, take me to his tomb. And they said, oh, if you have been here, our, our brother wouldn't have died. He said, no, I am the resurrection and life. And it was, it was funny. And he was, ah, you are the resurrection. No, no, no problem. We know that in, 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 when you get to heaven, you are going to meet our brother. He said, no, I'm talking of now. And when they got to the tomb, even the, the sisters they, and all the people, they could not follow him to the tomb. Because he was already stinking. I don't know what has been stinking in your life. I don't know what has been think, stinking in your family. That even people don't even want to relate with you. They couldn't follow Jesus. They stayed back because Lazarus was already stinking. And by the time Jesus Christ got to the tomb and he declared and he said, Lazarus, come forth. I want you to begin to pray right now. Is there anything that has been dead? Any destiny that has been dead in, in, in I want you to pray that, Father, let that be. Let that be that reactivation in the name of Jesus. Bible says, if the spirit of him that raised Jesus Christ from the dead lives in you, that spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead will quicken your mortal body. I want you to pray that the mortal body will be quickened by the spirit of the living God. That the mortal body will be quickened by the spirit of the living God. The mortal body will be quickened by the spirit of the living God. Marasata ligebaka legete lagabrakata. I will say Jesus Christ cried in a loud voice and he said, Lazarus, come forth. Lazarus, come forth. And Bible said, Lazarus came forth. And he was still rough, rough in, in, in the various uh, bandage. And Jesus Christ said, He said, Loose him and let him go. Bible says, Who is whosoever that the Son of God has made free. He is free indeed. We declare every member of your family free indeed. Free to be whom God has called them to be. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray right now. The Lord, I will receive freedom to be whom you have called me to be to fulfill my destiny. In the name of Jesus. To fulfill my destiny. Rakatala batokishta elagadobo subregataya. Pray right now. Marasa legadegadegade 
de balabaha raga ba 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 la ga ga bra ga ta ya le ge de bo zo bro ko ta ya ba ra ga ba 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 sha ga la ga bra ga sa ka ta ya e ge bo 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 ba ba ra ga ta in Jesus mighty name we pray. I want you to pray right now. We have example of people in the Bible that fulfilled their destiny. People like Joseph, people like Esther, people like Daniel. Daniel was, was a, a prime minister to four presidents. He was an Ajib, all governments in power. The guy became so relevant that they could not, they could not do without him. The fact that they may not like his God, but they cannot do without him. And that is fulfilling destiny. No matter the level of opposition, I want you to pray. That say, Father, you that F. Esther to fulfill her destiny. She became even a queen in a strange land, a Vashti with all she had, with all her pedigree, with all our, our heritage. She lost it. But Esther, a rude girl from nowhere, became somebody of substance. I want you to pray that God that leave these people from nothing and takes them to the highest place, the Lord will take you to higher ground. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray right now. I say, Father, help me to fulfill destiny. You that help Esther, you that help Joseph, you that help Daniel, you that help oh, David to fulfill his destiny. David, that, that young boy that, that was in, nobody could consider anything about that guy. He, even the father never gave him opportunity. His brothers never gave him opportunity. Even the, the even when the called the uh, king came, King Saul came, and he looked at him, he despised him. That this boy cannot be anything. And look at this same boy was now lifted, and was not just lifted; he became significant up to today. No wonder they are still talking about the sure mercy of David. I want you to pray. I say, Father, Lord, you help these people of old. You help them to fulfill their destiny. Apart from even the Bible history, our Father in the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboye, is there as, a, as an example. He always tells us that even out to the age 18, he, doesn't, he was not wearing his shoe. And this is a man that God has given him a name. It is not only Jesus that God gives name. God still gives men name. I want you to pray that Lord help me to fulfill my destiny. Help me to fulfill my destiny. Help me to finish strong. I've told us before that the word fulfill means to execute. Uh, the word fulfill means to complete. The word fulfill means to bring to pass. The word fulfill means to, to, to cause an, a, a, an accomplishment. Father, Lord, help me to accomplish that that you caused me to, that you brought me to life to do. Just like my Muro, we said that I want to die empty after fulfilling all that you have told me to do. My one element that we need to fulfill our destiny in life is the grace of God, is the favor of the Lord. That is what a man of God called a system of advantage. I want you to activate this system of advantage that have been made available unto you. Favor of the Lord, grace of the Lord, mercy of the Lord, they are all system of advantage. We are not supposed to run our life the way every other person is running their life. Lord, we ask for God that grace to fulfill Destiny, Maliga do shiga ba 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 ba, regebo sabra gata ya, legada rakaza tayabo, legada Moses fulfill his own destiny, eka rakaza kata ya ga, lo ma broko zuko toya, legaga ba brega zakata, legada bo zabra kata ya. Something interesting happened in the book of Exodus two when he was talking about. The, se the seven daughters of Ruel, the priests of Midian. Bible says when they went to fetch water, even for their flock, he said when they got there, that Moses came and drove away the shepherd and fetched the water for them. And no wonder when they got home, their father said, your journey was quick. If you are faster, you came so very soon. He said, yes, because someone helped. I want us to pray for destiny helper. I want you to declare this year that your journey this year will be faster. Your journey this year, because God will send help to you. He will send people to you. He will send people that will be of support to you. Bible said concerning Moses, he said, Moses helped them. 
One, to chase away the shepherd. Two, to help them fish. And three, to help them to take care of the flock. Rakasu prakataya. I decree and I declare today. Rapadale gakataya. Every help you need. Every help you need. Labade kotoso prakata. Bible tells us about the story of that woman in the book of Revelation 12. He said the earth helped the woman. Even the dragon wants to swallow the son that the woman would want to give back to. He said but the earth was there to help the woman. Laka raka supakuta. Lega tutu skabruga shakata. Arakata labotu suprega. I want you to pray right now. Long broko so brokata ya. I will say that. Leka broka sakata, leke toko zo broka ha, ye kaka 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 kaka, ye kaka. I want you to pray and say, Father, make me a special masterpiece in your hand. Make me an instrument of righteousness. But I'm saying, in a great house there are vessels, some unto honor, some unto dishonor. Baba, make me vessel unto honor unto you. In the name of Jesus, akata liga bakoto yega, eregegege bodo gotusa, lege deba brakata ya. Legadaba bragataya lakatoka broko saka legete boka ba yekoto sobraka. No one succeed in life without the help of God. When people tell you that they are self-made men, they are they, they are just seen the best, the the highest and the biggest liar. Nobody is self-made. So I want you to pray that we, without the support of God, so nobody can be successful. So I want you to pray for open heaven. I pray for open heaven. Say, God, open the heaven and come down for my sake in the name of Jesus. Open heaven. Oh, let me operate under open heaven. Bible says in the book of Isaiah 64, he said, Who that thou will rend the heavens and cause mountains to melt like what? He said, When you do terrible things that we did not ask for. He said, Another version of the Bible says, When you do spectacular things we did not ask for. Marasa tali gebo shabaha lega bragadaba. Bible told us in the book of Ezekiel chapter one. He said in, from verse one. He said I was there at the valley of Sheba. He said when the he said and my, the heaven over me was open. Now I want you to pray that let heaven over me open. He said and I saw the vision of God and the word of the Lord came expressly. Let this be our testimony. Marasa tu lega bababa Lord. Lord, help me to operate under open heaven in the name of Jesus. Maraka Zaprakataya. Yea, I want you to pray. I say, Father, arise and contend with every enemy of my destiny. Arise and contend with every enemy of my destiny. He said, I will contend with them that contend against you. Araka Suprakatayaba. Legedebo Brakataya. Na Marakaba. When Jesus Christ told his disciples, he said, Let us move to the other side. And as they were moving to the other side, the storm arose. And they came to the master and said, Master, carry not that we, we perish. Jesus Christ, he rose up and he rebuked the wind. Every wind, everything that is opposing our rising in life, we rebuke it in the name of Jesus. And he, speak, he spoke to the sea. He rebuked the wind. There is a mighty rushing wind that stop every contrary wind. We stand today in the name of Jesus. They let the mighty rushing wind of the Holy Spirit stop every, every contrary wind. But I would say those contrary winds were against them and was beating their bones and wanted it to capsize. He didn't want them to fulfill their destiny. I want you to pray in the spirit right now. And pray right now. Let the mighty rushing wind. Marasata ligo zaka. Melaka tusu zubra gatosha. Legado zaka gagaba. Barasu brekataya. Let the mighty rushing wind out of your belly flow rivers. Let that river flow. Makuta kaba. Regebobo sata lige. Legabo zopre gataya. Lagabroko zombra gaha. Legagaga bragataya. Legetekata nambro go sika marra gegegebo legetekatekate lege go brokoto lega gaga gambra kasakata legebo shaga baba 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 in Jesus mighty name we pray I want you to pray I say Father let your very purpose for my life be accomplished. In the name of Jesus. Let the very purpose for my life. The Bible says wisdom in the heart of man is like a deep water. A man of understanding fetch it out. I want you to pray right now that let the very purpose of God. The Bible says in the book of 
down in 11 22. He said, They that know their God shall be strong and do exploit. Lord, I receive grace to do exploit. Does that not tell you that they that does not know their God shall be weak and be exploited? Lord, is there any way I've been exploited? Lord, I hold on to God. I want you to pray right now. Say, oh, my star, come out of obscurity. Come out of obscurity and shine for the glory of the Lord. He said, their star rises. Those magi, they saw the star of Jesus from afar. And they were following. They were going through the wilderness. They were going even when the situation was not favorable because they saw a star and they went to, to pay obeisance. Lord, let my star arise in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You're going to pray one prayer for yourself. One of the things that stop people from even fulfilling their destiny in life is jealousy, envy, bitterness. A case in point is the story of, David, uh, of Joseph and his brothers. Bible told us that he had a dream that he saw his own chiefs and in, the, in the field. And 11 chiefs were bowing down. That was the first one. The second dimension is he had another dream that he saw the moon, the sun, and 11 stars bowing down to his own star. And immediately the brothers had, they, get, they got jealous. Does that mean that we are going to bow for you? They have forgotten that what Joseph saw was a prophecy, was declaring that the level of them are going to be stars too. They didn't hear that. They only heard that they are going to bow. So a lot of time when you are pushing, when you are envious of others, when you are bitter about the accomplishments of others, you are killing your own stardom. Because those guys, you could have been 11 stars. So they, they, they were not able to accomplish that. I want you to pray that, Father, Lord, everything and everything that could deem my star, like envy, like jealousy, like, uh, like bitterness, like strife, Lord, I, 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 I give it up in the name of Jesus. Ragaba soto legaba. Let this mind be in you. In the book of Philippians 2 said, let this mind be in you as in Christ Jesus. Though he was in the form of man, he does not can it equal to equate himself with God. He made himself of no reputation. And that is how the stardom of Jesus Christ grew from eternity past to the eternity present to, and to the eternity future. I want you to pray right now. Let my star, let my star, let it rise in the name of Jesus. Let it rise in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I want you to pray right now. Say, Father, frustrate every evil plans of the enemy to abort your purpose for my life. Every evil plans of the enemy to abort the purpose of God for my life, for the church of God, even for Nigeria. We are approaching election. It's a time for us to pray. God has a purpose for Nigeria. The man, man of God saw something that Nigeria is like the trigger to Africa. So the Lord, Nigeria will not abort the purpose of God in the name of Jesus. Every evil counsel against this nation, Isaiah 7, he says, Isaiah 7 from verse 5 to 7, he said, and thus said the Lord, as they are taking counsel against Syria and against Ephraim, he said, thus said the Lord, it will not stand, it will not come to pass, it will not stand, it will not come to pass. Every evil plan against you, against your family, against every member of, of, of our church, or against redeemed Christian church of God, Lord, it will not stand, it will not come to pass, in the name of Jesus. I want you to 
to begin to declare, I refuse to be a failure. I refuse to be a failure. He said, whosoever that is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. I am a great child of a great God. In the name of Jesus, greatness is in my DNA. I will rise up and I will fulfill everything that God has said concerning me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm not a failure. I'm a success. Greater is he that is in me that is in, that he that is in the world. Mighty are they that are for me. Maraka shuka bragata. I want you to begin to declare. I want you to begin to declare the word of God. The Bible says something in the book of Philemon. He says so that your the communication of your faith can be effectual when you communicate and acknowledge the good things that are in you. I want you to begin to acknowledge the good things that you have in God. God is on my side. Araka so brakata. No weapon form against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against me in judgment is condemned. I will fulfill my destiny in life. I will fulfill my destiny in life. In the name of Jesus, everything God has said concerning me, it shall come to accomplishment. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Finally, before we go, anytime we fast is an opportunity to receive they, they, they receive the benefit of the fast. And the benefit of the fast is, is already in the book of Isaiah 58. As many of us that can open to it, you can, I'd like you to check Isaiah 58 from verse 8. Isaiah 58, and I want you to confess that to yourself. He said, then shall the light break forth like the morning. Lord, I declare that my light will break like in the morning. My head shall spring forth speedily in the name of Jesus. The righteousness shall go before me in the name of Jesus. And the glory of the Lord shall be my real world in the name of Jesus. I will call and the Lord will answer. I will cry and the Lord will say, here I am in the name of Jesus. He said, I take away, you know, in the midst from the midst of the yoke and the putting a word of finger and speaking of vanity. Yes, if thou draw out of your soul to, to the hunger, verse 11 said, and the Lord shall guide me continually. I declare, because I waited upon you, you will guide me continually. Verse 11, he said, the Lord will guide me continually and the Lord will satisfy my soul in drought. I want you to begin to declare, no matter how the situation is in Nigeria, either cashless or fearless or bankless, whatever it is that is happening, the Lord will satisfy my soul in drought. In the name of Jesus, because I'm waiting upon him, the Lord satisfy my soul in drought. He said, I make fat my bone. I want you to begin to confess and declare, the Lord make fat my bones in the name of Jesus. I will be like a watered garden, a, a spring of water, a, that, that whose water faileth not. I shall be like a spring of water, that whose water faileth not in the name of Jesus. And he said, they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Yes, I'm a builder of old waste places in the name of Jesus. I shall be the builder of old waste places. He said, and thou shalt raise up the foundation of many generations. I raise foundation of many generations in the name of Jesus. He said, and thou shalt be called the repairers of breaches. In the name of Jesus. I want you to declare concerning yourself. That is who God has called you to be. Yeah, I am a repairer of breaches. The restorers of path to dwelling. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Mabraka, verse 14, he said, And thou shalt be the delight of the, and if thou shalt delight thyself in the Lord, he said, I will cause you to ride upon your high places. Father, cause me to ride upon my high places. Cause me to ride upon my high places. And let me feed with the heritage of Jacob, my father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken this. I want you to just begin to give thanks to God. Begin to give thanks to God because it's a time for you to fulfill your destiny. It's a time for you to arise and, and, 
arise and walk. It's a time for you to arise and, 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 and be glorious. I want you to begin to just appreciate God. Father, we want to say thank you. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the remaining 12 days that it shall be fruitful. It shall be glorious in the name of Jesus. I would say they go from strength to strength. Each of them as he appeared in Zion. That, Lord, every day as we wait upon you, I will be, our strength is daily renewed in the name of Jesus. Lord, we be feeble among us in the name of Jesus. We pray for our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. E. Adeboye, that Lord will renew his strength. We pray, oh God, for our mommy, and our Pastor Mrs. Folu Adeboye, that the strength of the Lord will be made available for for her in every area, every time that she needs to decide. The Holy Spirit himself will guide her continually. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. In Jesus' name.